Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate Certification course. In this episode, we're going to learn about archiving and retention in Exchange. After this lesson, you should be able to enable and disable in-place archiving, create useful retention tags and create retention policies to group retention tags assign retention policies to mailbox and allocate permissions and script to export and import retention tag between on-premises exchange and exchange online and export all retention policies and tags from an organization and import all retention policies and tags to an organization as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's start by understanding creating retention tags. Retention tags are used to apply retention settings to messages and folders. Multiple retention tags can be grouped together into a retention policy and retention policies can be applied to a mailbox. And retention policy allow you to manage email lifecycle by archiving messages older than a specific period or removing messages older than a specific period. Let's look at the three types of retention tag that you can choose from and create. The first one is default policy tags. This is known as DPTS. These are the default retention tag for the entire mailbox. The next type is retention policy tags or RPTS. These are for the default folders. The only valid action is to delete or delete permanently. And the last one are personal tags. These tags becomes available in Outlook and Outlook on web. And users can use them to apply to a mailbox folder or an individual item. And when creating a retention tag, you must indicate what type of action the tag should apply to messages and folders. There are three types of retention actions that you can choose from depending on the type of retention tag that you create. The first one is delete and allow recovery. This action allows the user to recover deleted items until the deleted item retention period is reached for the mailbox database or the user. Second is permanently delete. This action purges the item from the mailbox database. The last one is move to archive. This action moves the item to the user's archive mailbox if one exists. So how can you create a retention policy? Configuring a retention policy is simply a matter of creating a new policy and then adding the retention tag you want to that policy. You can go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and open the Exchange Admin Center to come to this particular page. And on the left hand side, you can see Compliance Management and click on that to create a new retention policy. Please note that New tags are applied the next time the Manage Folder Assistant processes the mailbox and tags you remove from a policy are no longer applied or available to mailboxes that have the policy applied. But items that have already been tagged are expired based on the Remove Tag settings. Let's talk about the in-place archiving of mailboxes in Microsoft 365. Archiving in Office 365 provides users with additional mailbox storage space. After you turn on archive mailboxes, users can access and store messages in their archive mailboxes by using Microsoft Outlook and Outlook web app. So before you begin, you must be assigned the mail recipient role in the Exchange Online to enable or disable archive mailboxes. And you can also use the archive page in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center to disable a user's archive mailbox as well. So after you disable an archive mailbox, you can reconnect it to user's primary mailbox within 30 days of disabling it. That concludes this lesson. In the next video, we're going to talk about in-place records management. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.